rehydrating there, sir. Good skills. Get me brain wet. Uh, and uh, we had a good night's kip last yeah. night. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Very good for once. Well, you didn't wake up for a wee or nothing, no? No. Oh, Amazing. Not a poo, no? Six hours straight kip. Six, Six and a half hours. Well, I went to bed at uh, 20 to 12 until you woke me up, sir. What's new? Uh, you must be due to sleep now anyway, isn't you? Oh, I am, I am. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> at this point, I'm going to put a picture in, ladies and gents. <laughs> <laughs> Pop my one, no. one time I fell asleep. Oh, oh, one time I bothered to... <laughs> so, that picture will have been in there now. <laughs> Pop calling the kettle black, sir. So that is all I've got to say about that. Once, once in all these years. Oh, well, there you go, sir. <laughs> well, I've got a picture to prove it, have you? <laughs> Ladies and gents, here we see uh, our little setup. Everything that's necessary and nothing that's not. Here we see the, the naffy flag. <laughs> that's got a little awning. Dave. Oh, you up. And uh, obviously the chairs and that. I made these sort of things for the lads. That's Jeff's one and that. Uh, these are very popular. I can't remember what they're called, the old one, Tigress. Teepees, you know, the old Indians, they knew what they were doing, didn't they? You know, the old teepees and that. The house got very tidy set up. Very tidy set up. RF, don't expect no less. There he goes. How the very devil are we, sir? How you doing? Not too bad, mate, not too bad at all. Oh, look, 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 look. Full waving shorts. Oh. <laughs> And now I like this because he's done a, a little A-frame there to uh, pick out his top. It's Jeff's little setup. Again, one tigress, they're bang on it. I've, I've got one the same as this, but my one's better because it's canvas. I'll show you that later on, ladies and gents. Very, very hot and very, very close here. Tony's got a nice little pace in the shade. Some of the lads were turning up on Wednesday and Thursday. Right. Here we are, the, the usual crew. <laughs> How's your old rooftop, mate? Is that alright? How's your old rooftop, alright? Yeah, good, mate. Yeah, really well. Yeah. yeah. Nice fishing this weather. Nice oh. and airy. Yeah. Nice and true breeze. Oh. Something you said. It is, mate. <laughs> I probably farted. <laughs> no, I said that to Al earlier on. Every time Jeff comes back, within 60 seconds, we've all got to get up and walk away. <laughs> so they're probably doing it to me, though. That's why he's got his uh, hammock out of it. Yeah, oh, bless. Well, now he's a smart one, mate, because it's a bit cooler in there, isn't it? I'm loving the old um, exactly. table that you had. Best spoke, sir. Best yes, spoke. Mate. Yeah, mighty cuff special. Yeah. No, you've got to say, mate, does it really nice, doesn't it? Oldie weldy and that, because everybody's going a bit oldie weldy, isn't they? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. But that's, that's a nice bit of kit, mate. Yeah, it looks nice. He done me, because I've got the box that he done me before as well. Yeah. Um, which is at home. So, yeah, next time I'll bring that and it'll be uh, yeah. well, he, he even personalised it for you, sir, didn't he? I know, yeah, looks yeah. special. He's on it, sir. You are special, sir. <laughs> <laughs> special needs, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> But that's good to see there, the old fire blanket out there, mate. Good skills, yeah, sir. Good skills. Just in case. Good skills. De definitely just in case in this hot weather, mate. Oh, it's a bit clammy and sticky now, isn't it? Yeah, now it's over. Yeah. I love the old swing out, mate, little system you got there. Yeah, nice and easy. Don't take long at all. No, I don't ask how much it costs, sir. Yeah, no, don't. My wife watches these videos. <laughs> 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 that's fair, that's fair, sir. <laughs> that's what we like about Al at the Green Barn. He said to me once, I was doing that film down there, oh, if it's like 300 quid, if somebody wants a 75 pound receipt, I'll do that. There's <laughs> yeah, a receipt for you and a receipt yeah. for the wife. He's, oh, he's there's bang the on it. The receipt and there's the real receipt. Yeah. Love it. But uh, there we go. Jeff being a sensible one, he's got his little hammock up. And uh, we'll go over and see my little abode. So I'm sorry, mate, I'll be back in a sec. Hey, oh, I only hang about with people who offer me coffee. Yeah. 
uh, yeah, one tigress. Uh, loving the material this is made out of, ladies and gents. It's a standard, really well made. Um, you know, tight points, um, all reinforced, the top reinforced. Beautiful material. I wish I could buy this material because I'd make all my shelters out of it. It's like a poly cotton, uh, like Tatonka used to make their tarps out of. And again, totally silent material. It's got every design feature you want. I'm, you know, there's nothing really I can modify this with. It's got a, a door here. Right, I'll come back. And that's the door. So that whole thing with two poles can just lift up and you've got uh, you know um, a lovely sort of awning on there if you wanted that as well but yesterday when it was screaming hot I had both open and uh, the what little wind there was was going through there ladies and gents I think it's about 250 and I have an idea of what the material would cost and you know I'm not sure how they do it for that much but I mean 250 pounds a lot of money for me uh, but for what you get ladies and gents um, there's a stow jack in it and that, everything you could want. It's, uh, I'll keep my setup pretty simple because I always jump in with somebody. Co pilot, there's my little bed chair that I eventually upgraded. Uh, the inner or the jungle part of the uh, British Army modular sleeping system, and that was more than adequate last night. And the only thing I have in there is a little table, ladies and gents just to put my bits on as you do a little bit of admin uh, I'm not sure that this is gonna come out but I will try it Oof. now as we go up there oh excuse me sorry about that so it protects me the top because it's just a sleeve it's got a set of velcro there set of velcro there stops it going from left to right and as we can see that's where I put my phone my glasses it's a first aid kit that will just you know, grab and rip down there, clip up my lights up there. Uh, made something similar for Al. Just, if you've got the centre pole, use it. But, plenty of space in it. Easy to get um, two people in here on bed chairs, no dramas, ladies and gents. And like I say, love this material. And it's got all the tie output. You know, I mean, there's, there's nothing I can say about this or I could uh, take it and improve it. And I've said it before. One tigress, when it comes to tents, they really have up their game. You know, and that's showing in there. And, you know, moons ago, you'd expect a tent like this to cost you 500 quid just for the cost of the material. And I'd love to get that by the meter, because I'll make all my shelters out of that. And as we see, I don't want to show people's cars, got Land Cruiser and that. Very nice. Oz tents and that. Oh, oldie weldy. Lovely set. I can't remember the lad's name, it's David's mate. We don't see him often, but he's a diamond geezer. Very nice. Oh, very nice, very posh. Oh, oldie weldy. So, just coming down the posh end, lads, you know what I mean? Oh, well, you just... Right, it's okay, see if everyone's doing anything. Proper. I think that's even a shower there. Oh, you know. It's like, boom. This is definitely not wild camping, this is posh camping, ladies and gents. Horse tents. Horse tents. How much old Land Rover tent cost you there, mate? Is that a bit? Is that a bit of dollar? Because somebody will think of it. I've had it nearly 20 years. Oh, fair enough, then, mate. Yeah. No. An old thing. It was an old thing at the time. Or yeah. well, you got one of your cook cookers? Yeah. yeah, cookers down there, mate. Fair yeah. Is that for me? Why not? Oh, thank you very much, sir. Thanks, sir. Actually, I've got somebody starting off as a scout leader. I'll shoot you on to him if you don't mind, mate. Yeah. Now I sorted him out with some kit, you know, 
water bottles and all that type of stuff, mate. Oh, diamond, mate. Oh, cheers. I'll pass that on, mate. No, I do appreciate that, sir. Thank you. Start somewhere. Oh, yeah, definitely, mate. Get a little leg up in the right yeah, corner. And he's a dad with two kids, so he's got no dollar. Oh, but where he takes his kids to the scouts, they've said to him, um, would you fancy just volunteering and that? He loves it, doesn't he? Um, yeah, very he embryo. Will. He will. Yeah. He will, though. Yeah. I used to do that. He's got to do the, um, well, his DBS right up to the help, mate, but not for children because we don't work with children. You know, um, so that's going to be a formality, and that's it. He's going to be on it, mate. But you know, we just sorted him out. You know, water bottles and uh, you know a rucksack and you know that type yeah, of yeah, stuff, mate. Yeah. You know. Well, um, you can put that towards it. It's, yeah. it's a little starter. It's Cheers, a, mate. Yeah. Seed. Let's yeah. Because yeah. yeah. he's got two two young lads, and he wants to get them out in the woods and all that, yeah. like you know what I mean. But as I said to him, we'll just say we're going to hunt for paddock and bear. You know what I mean? Bear in the woods yeah, and that, yeah. Woods, yeah. yeah. I suggested that to somebody a few years ago and they was like, kids are bang on it, mate. And he's only a civilian that will get excited when you give him a mess in. Isn't it just? Everyone else goes, oh, no, not these again. <laughs> no, true, mate. It's oh, brand new mess No, just sorting him out a few bits because we've all got enough to put a little kit together for him, mate. Yeah, I'm more than happy to put it. Oh, cheers, mate. No, he, he certainly will do, mate. Definitely, sir. Well, next time he comes over, um, and the show mat put up a tarp. You just don't know, you know what I mean? Uh, sort him out with a tarp, and uh, we get the guy lines and you know, all that yeah, type of yeah. stuff set so, up. A few basic knots, uh, and I'm gonna take a two litre bottle of water from the river Blackwater and show him how to stabilize it That's so nice. he sterilizes it for coffee, mate. Yeah, you know, yeah. and uh, he's very keen on the old, um, you know, starting the fires and that. That's what I had him doing last time, yeah, that no, is proper, you know, birch bark, and then we went on to a few other bits and that. I've told him to nick a tampon off his missus. No, because you cut them, they'll go. I know we do. I know we do. Yeah, yeah. Because um, I said to my missus, I was making... I have one or two in there. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, you know, like the little cotton ball pads I use for the makeup and that, yeah. you know. Psh, get him on there, sir. Do yeah. some natural firelighting and that, with the old birch bark. You've got it done in the end. You've got just... Everybody yeah. finds an act, don't they? Well, uh. so, yeah. Right, sir. No, thanks for that, mate. I appreciate that. That's all right. That well, one. It, does well. it, it will do, sir. I'm sure it will do. Thanks a lot, mate. No, it's appreciated, Paul. Cheers. Yeah. Or oh, somebody else with uh, one of my tents. So I can't even tell if this is recording or not. Yeah, I think so. Uh, the glare's so bad. But no, these tents are uh, bang on it. Proper bang on it. And here we see whew, some more posture. Dave. Dave. Dave, I've come up. You had like a right posh set up, sir. Nah. Blimey, sir. Look, right, you see your motor because you've got a bang on it motor, sir. Now you've got to get back for the family and do yeah, things, sir. So. Yeah. yeah, but you've been down here since Wednesday, I might mention that as well. Because <laughs> oh, I was leaving the day early. Yeah, no. Blinding, mate, blinding. Yeah. That'll have to look, Nick Brown just doing a yeah. film a quick bit of saps and so forth, mate. Um, down the posh end. That security bloke, he keeps following me about, he thinks yeah. I'm going to nick stuff, yeah. mate. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, had a nice few bits out there for sale, yeah, mate. Yeah, yeah. Nice few bits out there. Surprised that titanium cook pot didn't go. Yeah, yeah, Billy can. Yeah, well, Swiss, yeah, Swiss yeah. Um, it's a price to sell, mate, it was. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, if I didn't have one, mate, I'd have had that, you know, I'd rip your arm off on that, mate. But, uh, a few bits sold, you know what I mean? Which yeah. is all right. Yeah. Got me a few stuff, and uh, um, I've got stuff, good stuff to take back. So. Yeah, well, the wilderness. Yeah, I could go take elsewhere. Yeah, wilderness gathering, so yeah, it would go like a shot, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, I forgot you was going back a day early, mate. Had a lovely little setup here on that, mate, didn't you? Probably, probably, well, I expect no less, mate, you know what I mean? Oh, it was, sir. Uh, I'm even thinking about I might just, just sleep under there, yeah. just in a sleeping bag tonight. Yeah, I was say, put just to, stuff away. Yeah, and sleep in there and sleep. No, I might actually do that, sir, because we're away early in the morning. Because, yeah, yeah, there's a military area showing uh, near Thetford or whatever. It's only about 20 minutes from here, so we're going to leave at nine. Two for one, special officer, got, got to be done. It's too far from the, where we come to go to it, if you know what I mean. Uh, but we're here anyway, you know what I mean? So it's all about getting stuff done now. Don't leave it till next week, you know what I mean? Next week, especially at my age, ain't guaranteed, sir, is it?
Yeah, I do. Yeah, I think so. Boom. Yeah, I'll see you before you go, mate. Oh, and we've got our esteemed guest, our esteemed guest, Zed from Z Outdoor, sir. How you doing, guys? Nice to see you. Nice to catch up for a bit of a chat and that yesterday. Nice one, mate. And so, obviously, you've got a nice little setup down there, sir. Very oldie worldy. I've just captured it for posterity. And I thought, Matt's eye. No words. No words. No, no needed, sir. No, no needed. But it's all like proper posh down there. Because I think you're shooting awake today as well, mate, isn't you? I do. Yeah, sure. Yeah, we're just going to be chilling out a bit. Yeah. Um, uh, and then, yeah, just, yeah, the moment when the time's right. Oof, maybe, we're on yeah. it, sir. But next time, hopefully, stay for the full three, four days. Definitely, sir. Always welcome. Yeah. Always welcome. Um, but it's good seeing you after so long and meeting everyone else as well. It's been yeah. really lovely. It's just been hard to put together, mate, isn't it? Really nice group of people. Apart from him. <laughs> 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 Everyone's just been like super, really lovely. Right. There's fries yeah. wood invite out the kitchen there, isn't there, mate? What's that? No more fries wood invites. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on the blacklist now. That's it. No. But for, sorry, finally, after a number of years, mate, and a number of tries, we've met up. Because yeah. the distance between me and you is a couple of train stops, really, isn't it, mate? I know. The irony, we live close to each other in Essex, yeah. we end up meeting up in Suffolk. That's the way of the world, sir. That is the way of the world. Well, we, we got it done eventually. Well, we did, we did. Mm. But I've got to come down to, 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 your, to your end and your woodland and stuff, even if it's just a day thing, you know. Boof, we're always welcome, mate. Everybody yeah, is. Because yeah, no, something I like is, like Nigel, he was watching me films and that. He lives in the same bloody town, mate. Now he's down, you know what I mean? You know, I'm like, I'm not clicky, yeah. you know. I was at some show and he went, oh, you're, I'll, I'll watch your films, you're Mac type one. And I went, oh, I was a little bit taken aback like, you know what I mean? Uh, and then I shut it out and then I, he added me on Facebook and the rest is history and it's like we have a lot of people I've met, you know what I mean? Yeah. Bosh. Because yeah. it's always all into the same stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry mate? Yeah. Facebook's got a lot of time to call. Right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've got like, I've got a chest full of medals for being like banned <laughs> on Facebook for some of my memes and so forth. Yeah. Mr Zuckerberg, I think he takes, he, well I think he has to have a an update, what's, what's the old title up to <laughs> every morning? <laughs> no, we, we'll, we'll all do it again, mate, Definitely and, and 100%, closer. 100%, nice 100%, one, mate. 100%, really. It's always good to see you, sir. You too. There you go. There we go, sir. How? You've done it again, sir. You've done it again. It's good, that, isn't it? You know, you close your eyes and when you wake up, do you understand? It's your turn next. We're, we're going I'm Greek tonight. We're getting bollock Oh, ours. right. He's trying to throw us off the scent of his nationality. Yeah. So we're going, we're going Greasy Dago, yeah? yeah. <laughs> Good skills, sir. Because that's chicken and all that, yeah? Oh, fucking hell. I'm going to I mean, oh, the Russians, the Wagner group, they're taking over it's Russia worth. on the way to Moscow, and we're sat here eating this. Yeah, I, I see that earlier. I was trying to work out what's going on. It's... The insurrection, sir. Uh, insurrection. Oh, it's been yeah. too long. It's been too long. Any, um, I don't like cucumber. I just have oh, okay. Tommy's. Tommy's. All right. No, that's well, not fun. Look at that. Not sure what all that white stuff is. A bit suspect that. Yogurt, Tommy. Minted yogurt. And yeah, dill. Yogurt. Get it down, you. Yogurt and dill. Uh, dill. Dill. That's in Kent, isn't it? No, that's that's, that's this thing, isn't it? Dill, 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 dill. <laughs> <laughs> Forevermore, that, that theme tune will be associated with you, sir. No, but I'm going to shut up waffling now and get this down my neck. Cheers, Alan. Very nice, oh. sir. Outdone yourself again. One in Whitehall, and we went we went to the tower to do a little... Um, it was when they were doing uh, Pudsey, the old... Um, oh, right, yeah. Good skills on that, mate. That was uh, well polished off by the lads, wasn't it? Good skills. Yeah. And I was just saying there, I, I think I probably put my foot in it, but you had Marty and Jeff, like both old BT engineer boys, they were talking about all the stuff that you know they put in for war reparations and stuff like that. You know, like the old secret, like wartime. Yeah. No. How's it go? But apparently, he never went there. No. And yet they portray him as yeah. sitting there with his cigar in a fucking ashtray and Who's that? his I've little been to that bed. One just off the mall, his office is there. Who's, are we talking about Chel yeah. Chel Chel Churchill now? It, yeah. Are we talking about Churchill now? Yeah. Well that yeah. jumped from you two old BT guys, didn't it? Well I wouldn't know fucking about Churchill, would I? 
That's to do the insurance, isn't it? Oh, it's, no, no, there no, is no, a no, lot, no. no, there was a lot said about, when I grew up, seriously, Churchill was like my hero, if you know what I mean. Yeah, well, um, you fucking used to watch, listen to him on the gramophone, didn't you? Oh. We talked about the, the, the dog, because yeah. you do look like him a bit. Ooh. Ooh. Just Ooh. Oh, yes. oh, yes, oh, yes, and then we went to Churchill. Yeah. Danny, Bo Danny Boy calling Broadsword, Broadsword calling Danny Boy. <laughs> yeah. No, you two were reminiscing about the old deep exchanges and that. And, you know, <laughs> yeah. un underneath. Well, still signed on the secret acts, you know. Eh? Yeah. Can you destroy that, please? Yeah, no, definitely, sir. Yeah, because, you know, like, the Kelwood in that secret nuclear bunker that everybody's visited, you know, you, you, you put the initial wire works in there, sir, didn't you? Oh, he, he, more, yeah. he was on it. And he was a single at the time. He was knocking some bird off at, like, Northfield as well. <laughs> you have to go off at a tangent. I do so, I do so. Well, one minute we're talking about like My old. Watch your film yeah, no, old BT work, and the next minute we're talking about. I mean, where do we, how do we get to. Marty. No, I don't. No, <laughs> no uh, how do we get to Churchill? But our son's come out and I was beating well, down on my back. Across at Whitehall, he was meant to have been there. I just made the fact that he didn't actually. No, he didn't it. spend any nights in, in London during the Blitz, mate. Checkers, wasn't it? A lot of the time he would be whisked off to Oxford, mate. But all his diaries and all been sanitised, mate, if you really, really look into it. You know, a lot of his speeches were pre-recorded um, by, um, you know, the bloke who does... Oh, what was that? The sun's come out. The rabbit. Oh, yeah. Uh, Bob No, no. Uh, <laughs> no, but a lot of the time... A lot of the speeches that we all think are Churchill ain't Churchill. No, but they're, they're, they're associated with them and they're iconic speeches. So yeah. it's, it's good. Yeah, that's right. But not necessarily all recorded by him, mate. But, you know, we had people for... Really, and some of the speeches he comes out with, none of it's fucking right. No. Well, we could get home and it could be World War Three now. I mean, we're sat here between the biggest target in NATO, which is the air refueling wing. If you bugger that, you bugger all the aircraft, yeah? Don't matter what F they... And numbers beside them. And then you've got a massive... Strike force airfield behind us, Lake and Eve. Good, good, good. Yeah, here, you know what I mean? Boom, we'd be like, we wouldn't even have the time to. Well, we'd be very, very crispy, so you wouldn't even have time to kiss your ass and, and, and say goodbye. But, yeah. No, but I do love it, mate. We need to capture all this, like, like pre war stuff, you know, the Cold War stuff, when you boys were up to your knees in the sewers and that, laying the, you know, the, the command cables and all that for essential communications and all that. And as you went down there, Ch you know, Churchill was going, the, good uh, lads, good lads, and all that, yeah. I can't remember the ration books. Of Mom. They were there when I was young. I can't remember them. Marty, what? if you can remember ration books in use, just lie, don't... Well, it went on for ages. Yeah, don't, don't be so honest, it sir. It just stopped, did it? No. Oh, they finished in 1958, 59. Oh, it's got to be before that, hasn't it? No, they, they, honestly, certain things were rationed for a long, long while. Bananas were. Well, that's the oranges they couldn't get. Yeah. Oh, it's just, at this point, I think I have to turn the camera off because I'm going to fall asleep. <laughs> and Paul's nearly there already, isn't he? <laughs> no, it was really great to see you two old boys reminiscing, you old BT boys. Yeah, British Telecoms and that. It's an all right? Nah, nice one. All right, ladies and gents, this is, well... Just for posterity, look, we can see the sun's not even up. I've got up at quarter past six. Yeah. I've, I've been keep, they keep telling me all this romantic, like, nice sitting there in the morning watching the sun come up, so I thought I'd join them. Yeah. And it's been a bit of an anti-climax. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, that's all I've got to say about that. But I'm only yeah, doing this. Gets yeah. <laughs> can we talk, because David Fares, you won't believe it. Can you just nod that he's dead early? Yeah, it's 20 to 7. 20 to 7, and I've been here for a while, ain't I? Yeah. yeah. Bothering us already. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Paul, you're, you're, you're bubbling up for a download, sir. Oh, yes. And you better go, because I'm bubbling up I'm as well, gonna, sir. I'm not even going to cover it up for you. I'm going to let you see that. Oh, dirty <laughs> bastard. Dirty bastard. I don't know why I come out with you lot. Anyway, I was doing a big, like, REF admin pack it up thing. Because what we are going to do, out is uh, nip down that Militiera show in Fetford, mate. Yeah. I can't say. I ain't got no front teeth, Militaria. mate. Military show because um, from where we are to go to it, just on the off chance it's half decent, it's a bit like heavy on the diesel, isn't it? But we're only sort of 
20 minutes. Well, it is, mate, isn't it? You know, if we get there and it's just like the one at um, Colgreshaw, you'll be like, hmm. Yeah. But, uh, so we're going to roar enough at 9, it opens at 10. How, how is, you've got that itinerary planned to the minute, sir, haven't you? We'll be going and uh, roaring off. <laughs> yeah, I know. Time of breakfast. I know, he's, the, whoo, whoo, he's, he's on a mission today, isn't he? Like? Proper little lad, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. And, uh, so what you, you look like how I feel, mate, there. But I had a good night's sleep last night, I must admit. I, was I, was, I did get a little bit chilly at times. Did you? Yeah, I, I got the side window open, so it was uh. the mesh. And the breeze was coming Oh, through. I just rolled round and opened my legs. I'd have got a bit of chilly around me nuts, sir. Got too, too much sun yesterday, I think. Oh. Well, oh. when I get home, I'm going to get that fan. You know, I'm going to lift my boobs and get that, you know, some talcum powder underneath my boobs. All round me, like no, no, all, 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 all round me squats and that, sitting in front of the fat, the fan light, you know, cooling off me, me you know, me, me, me wedding sack was a. Nice. You, no, and and. Never eating sausage and batter again. <laughs> <laughs> You're um, gonna be like impressing the wife when you go home because you got her a nice little present. She'll like that, mate. Yeah. Individual and made. I'll, no, your missus will like that, won't she? <laughs> <That's not included>. <laughs> <laughs> you feel, sir, feel, proper feel. And, uh, no, well, I mean, I'm up before most people, yeah. which is. Uh, I thought, his name's up, who's with, with Dean, I see him. Yeah, I thought I'd better document it because, you know, it don't happen often anyway. No, no. Well, it's, it's the first for you, Al, isn't it? Seeing me up this early. Yeah, it is. It's about 11 o'clock. That's about right, sir. So you tie yourself out and you go back to sleep at 12, so. Who was, who was, as, hey, hey, who was asleep first? <laughs> <laughs> who had the first picture of somebody asleep? Oh, yeah. I've just... I needed that. That stress. Are you talking about me again? No, no. no. Oh, oh, yesterday. The time in all these years I've fallen asleep. Yeah, One I was <laughs> And, and you got it, sir. Yeah. That's how you get over the fact of you. Fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> now he was asleep, so in the daytime, and I caught it. So uh, anyway, that's all I've got to say about that.